Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 17th video in uh, Veeam Advanced Training and in this video we are going to see replication failover and fail back in Veeam Backup and Replication. So um, in process to uh, have a Veeam pro in a production and fully useful for in production we have to understand what is difference between failover and fail back which is which is two things in Veeam backup and replication and how we can use this uh, failover and fail back in a production environment in case of any anything goes wrong with the your uh, like uh, virtual machines or the primary site or production site so how you can get your virtual machines uh, up and running and uh, by using the failover or fail back in just a few seconds or minutes so I'm going to discuss in this video we are going to have a discussion on failover and fail back in Veeam backup and replication so let's go so this is you can see replication uh, replica failover and fail back so both the things uh, which is uh, you are going to use in Veeam uh, failover or fail back it's, it, it's going to be based on virtual machine which is getting uh, replicated to uh, other site or other ESXi host or Hyper-V host or any hyper hypervisor so you can see veeam backup and replication offer the following option for a different disaster recovery scenario so we have basically two type of disaster recovery one for the same site and one for the dr site so you can use the first process which is failover as a uh, as a recommended for highly availability at the same site so let's discuss about this so failover is a process of switching the virtual uh, from the original virtual machine on the source host to its VM replica on a target host means for example if we have this uh, host which is getting replicated to another host in the same site so we can use the failover to get this virtual machine up and running on this site in case anything goes wrong with your primary uh, host or primary virtual machine so you can see failover is a process of switching from a original virtual machine on a source host to its VM replica on a target host so we can switch do the failover to switch from uh, original virtual machine to its replica site uh, replica virtual machine also you can perform the permanent failover to leave the workload on a target host and let the replica replica act a uh, VM act as the original VM so also you can do the f permanent failover for like VM th this VM to the secondary s secondary host or a target host so this virtual machine is going to become your primary virtual machine which is going to be have in production so you can see permanent failover is a suitable if the resource and target host are nearly equal in the term of resource are located in a same site or same H so so this is recommended for a same site or the for the highly availability so you can do the failover to move your virtual machines from your primary host or source host to target host and you can perform the fail back to recover the original original VM on the source host uh, on the source host or a new location failback is used uh, failback is used in case where, where you failed over to the DR site and that is not intended uh, for the continuous operation and you would like to move the operations back to the production site when the uh, consistence of the disaster are eliminated so when you have something wrong with the, your primary site and you want to switch your whole infrastructure to the disaster recovery site and then and then you can restore your virtual machines from the uh, disaster recovery from the DR site to the primary site once the consequences are completed and uh, you have overcome from consequences so this is how um, we can use both failover and fail back in the in the veeam backup and uh, backup uh, veeam backup and replication so this is the fail back is basically recommended for dr site for a disaster recovery plan and the failover is basically recommended for the same site for the highly availability 
so let's discuss more about this so you can see we have a uh, two type of uh, failover one is a planned failover and one is a permanent failover uh, in v backup and replication so when you perform planned failover the following uh, the uh, failover process trigger a replica job to perform an incremental replica and run the copy the unreplicated changes to the replica so for example if I go here and I do the plan failover for this virtual machine it's going to check what is the unreplicated data for this virtual machine on a target host and it's going to send the unreplicated data to the target host to replicate it and then once the uh, copy copy the unreplicated changes to the replica has been completed it's going to the VM is going to power off so your source virtual machine is going to be power off the failover pro process trigger the virtual machine job to perform another incremental replica to run the copy the push uh, the portion of the last minute changes to the replica so after this virtual machine is shut down again vman backup is a uh, vm backup and replication is going to do a uh, send the, uh, another job for incremental replication if anything there is change in anything in last minute for a data block it's going to replicate the replica become full synchronized with the source vm so both the virtual machine like replica and the original virtual machine going to be synchronized fully and then the vm is failed over to the its replica and the replica machine is power on so this is the process which it's going to perform in failover so we are going to test this uh, plan failover in next videos and the next we have a permanent failover the permanent failover is a process where you can permanently fail over one virtual machine to the another host so what it's going to do you can see from here so the first thing vm backup and replication remove the snapshot restore point of the vm replica uh, from the snapshot chain and delete the associated files from the volume so what it's going to do here you can see we, we uh, on the secondary host on the target host we are going to have a snapshot for each the uh, for the all the virtual machine which was created during the replica uh, replication job so it's going to delete all the snapshot chain and its associated hard drive so it's you can see it's going to delete all then the changes uh, that were written to the snapshot differential disk are committed to the VM replica disk file to bring the uh, VM replica the most recent state so it's going to delete all the file all the snapshot file and it's going to re uh, come uh, like inject all those uh, changes in a s differential disk which is going to uh, uh, restore the most recent state of the virtual machine uh, and then VM backup and replication remove the VM replica from the list of replica and the VM backup and console so it's going to remove this virtual machine which you are going to do the permanent failover fr from the console of the VM backup and replication from any VM uh, replica jobs and then to protect the virtual machine replica from a corruption after the permanent failover is complete Veeam backup and replication reconfigure the replica job and add this original virtual machine in the list of exclusion so what it's going to do once this virtual machine is moved permanently moved to the um, new host it's going to uh, remove this virtual machine and put this virtual machine is exclusion list and when the replication job is start the original Uh, the original VM is skipped from the process so once this virtual machine is uh, exclude, uh, added to exclusion it's not going to um, uh, participate in replication job and the original VM is skipped from the processing as result no data is returned to the working VM replica so it's not going to again it's not going to have a replicated virtual machine with the a copy of the original virtual machine which was uh, earlier so we are going to follow this also so we have in next video we are going to do plant failover then we have mm, we are going to do a permanent failover and what next we have and now we have a replica failback so 
we have to understand uh, the replica failback is a process of restoring original virtual machine on a source host on a new location for the recommended for DR site and disaster recovery so we are going to see this so we backup and replication of three failback options the first one is you can fail back to a VM and the original location on the source host means you can uh, fail back this virtual machine to the original host in case virtual machine go goes corrupted or anything uh, goes wrong with the virtual machine and you can perform the fail back to a, uh, to a VM that has been restored up front from the backup in a new location so you can also perform a fail back if virtual machine is got restored from the uh, backup Veeam backup and uh, replication from a backup to a new location then also you have option to fail back and the finally you can fail back to a entire in uh, uh, fail back a virtual machine to an entire new location by transferring all VM replica files to the selected destination so basically you can also restore the fail back to the new location like newly built Hyper-V or an existing Hyper-V servers in your infrastructure but you need to select the destination and you need to move all the VM replica files to that uh, um, new destination so we are going to perform all three types of these uh, fail back in next few demos so fail back to original location and fail back to new location we have this checklist you can see if the virtual machine is running uh, if the source is running this 2008 R2 you can uh, restore this to any one of the virtual machine to original location if this is running on 2012 you can restore to any location so this is uh, about the original location and the fail back uh, we have some uh, critical you can see the uh, critical um, things when you are going to restore to the new location and compatibilities issue so you can see if you are running a windows server 2008 r2 the target can be anything but if you are running a source is running on a uh, server 2016 you can only restore that virtual machine on windows server 2012 r2 or 2016 so this is you need to uh, make sure when you are going to do a fail back you, you are not breaching any compatibility in Veeam backup and replication failover and also we have note here you can see if a VM replica configuration version is 8 you can perform the fail back on server 2016 only so if the virtual machine configuration is um, 8 then you need to make sure uh, you can perform this replication on uh, fail back only on server 2016 now we are going to discuss about the if we are going to replica failover to existing virtual uh, ex existing virtual original VM. So it means if you are going to restore your uh, fail back your virtual machine to existing virtual machine and uh, on existing location on the same ESXi or VM uh, Hyper-V host what you are going to have. So all the step which is going to uh, involve in this fail back to existing virtual uh, original virtual machine. So if the if the original virtual machine is running, we backup and replication power of it. So uh, what if the original virtual machine is running, we is going to power of that virtual machine and then we calculate the difference between the disk of the original virtual machine and the disk of the VM replica in a failover state so it's going to uh, basically uh, check the file size of the virtual machine which is uh, uh, at original location and the replica location and we uh, then we will run the sync original vm to the replica vm so vim is going to sync the uh, original virtual machine to the vim replica and then vim transport change the data in the original vm so it's going to change the data whatever data is written it's going to transfer those data in original VM and then we have a VM power of the VM replica so it's going to power of the VM which is a replica is running so both the virtual machine is going to have in power of state and and the VM replica remain the power power of until the commit fail back or undo fail back till the time we are not doing any commit fail back or undo fail back it's not going to power on 
and we create the failback protected snapshot for the virtual VM replica so it's going to create one um, protected snapshot the virtual the snapshot act as the new restore point and save the pre failback state to the virtual VM replica so it's going to uh, create one snapshot and it's going to restore the new restore point for the failback so if anything goes wrong post the failback we have one snapshot automatically created by Veeam backup and replication where we can go back and get the virtual machine is running a state in the last uh, uh, latest new restore point so uh, then VM calculate the difference between the VM replica and original virtual machine once again and the transfer change data to the original VM any synchronization cycle let the Veeam copy the portion which was changed in last minute so again Veeam backup and replication is going to check what is difference between original Veeam and uh, uh, replica Veeam and it's going to uh, make the sync of both the virtual machines which is in original virtual machine in replica and then Veeam state of the Veeam replica is changed from power a failover to failback and Veeam temporary puts replica activities for the original virtual machine on hold so it's going to um, um, so the state of the virtual machine is going to be changed from failover to failback and Veeam is going to put the replication activities on hold from the original virtual machine and finally if you selected if you selected during the uh, failback uh, uh, job creation selected the power on the original virtual machine after failback Veeam is going to restore the virtual machine on the target host and power on the virtual machine so this is how it's going to restore on the existing original virtual machine so uh, we are going to perform this activity also so you will get the clarity how it's going to do uh, Veeam, how the Veeam is going to do this activity in a back end and front end both and then we have a replica failback to new location this is a uh, very simple it's having only three steps so the Veeam backup and replication transport all the VM's replica files store uh, them to the target and so it's going to um, so it's going to transfer all the replicas file which is stored in the uh, replication path it's going to transfer on the target volume which we are going to select during the failback creation to the new location and Veeam backup and replication registered a new virtual machine in target host so it's going to register create and register uh, basically register that virtual machine in a new target host like uh, from source to destination it's going to add that virtual machine in the destination target uh, host and if you selected the power on the virtual machine after failback Veeam backup and replication power on the original restore original virtual machine in a target host so it's going to power on so it's going to simply transfer all the files to the target volume and then it's going to add that virtual machine in a target and then it's going to power on the virtual machine so it's it's three step very simple so this is all about replica failover and failback in Veeam backup and replication and we are in next videos we are going to perform all these uh, type of failover and failback which is available in ba Veeam backup and replication so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail address thank you once again bye bye